Hi, my name's Nick Nairn, and I'm going to show you how to make a magnificent dish. Collops of beef with a whiskey and mushroom cream sauce. Delicious and easy. We need some fantastic beef, and I'm going to use Aberdeen Angus fillet beef, and I've got two little uh, collops, as we call them in Scotland, or medallions of beef, each weighing about two and a half ounces. I've got some wild and cultivated mushrooms, there's some seps, some brown caps, and some pleurots in here. A little bit of smooth grain mustard, some stock, it could be chicken or beef, it doesn't really matter. A little bit of double cream, some butter, and of course, the star ingredient, we've got Grant's Ale Cask Reserve Whiskey to produce the base for the sauce. And here's how we do it. So just check my pans at the right temperature. Yep, that's feeling nice and hot. And the first thing I'm going to do is coat the medallions of beef with a little bit of the smooth grain mustard. So we just rub that in there. Now, not too much, just enough so the meat absorbs the, uh, the mustard. And two reasons for this. One, beef and mustard, great flavour combination. And two, the mustard helps the pepper just to adhere to the outside of the beef. So work that in, get it into the grain of the meat. Just going to wash my hands. And the pepper I'm going to use is freshly ground pepper. Um, I don't like pre-ground pepper, I think it's always quite stale. So I'm just going to grind the pepper directly onto the outside of the steak, like so. Check again that pan, it's at the right temperature. A little bit of soft sea salt just crushed over the outside of each of the medallions and we're ready to start cooking. So we're going to start off with a little bit of uh, blended olive oil, two tablespoons into the pan. The pan is at the right temperature, should just start to smoke. And I take the medallions out. Oh, no, just listen to that noise. A nice little sizzle, okay? And that tells me the pan's at the right temperature. If the pan is too hot, it's going to burn the beef. If the pan's too cold, I'm not going to get that lovely caramelization going. If it's just at the right temperature, I get that lovely little sizzle, the pan's talking to me, it's just telling me it's at the right temperature. And it's time to add the mushrooms. In they go, round the outside. Just give the pan a little sugar, as we say in Scotland. Get these out of the way. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of butter to the pan, and the butter's going to melt and froth and caramelise and help to add flavour to this dish. So a little bit of unsalted butter into the pan, like so. Just keep the pan moving. Let the mushrooms cook evenly on each side. Just going to use a set of tongs just to turn the mushrooms over as they cook. And I'm increasing the temperature of the pan now to keep it frying. Obviously if I add the mushrooms and they're going to start to release a little bit of liquid, I need to increase the temperature so everything in the pan is frying and it doesn't start stewing. And as the mushrooms caramelise, move them to one side of the pan. Allow the beef to get that lovely crust. So if we, if we start to turn the beef, we just look now into the pan. Now if I turn the beef, you can see that lovely crust on the outside. And that's where the flavour in this dish is going to come from. Now, to check that the beef is cooked, I'm just going to give it a little poke so I can feel the tension in there. And I'm going to serve this beef quite rare. I don't want to overcook it. So, I might say they're done now. I can feel that springiness in the beef that tells me it's, it's cooked. I'm going to remove it onto a cold plate. Now, don't worry. This meat will carry on cooking, even on a cold plate. And, of course, the Eelcast Reserve is an IWSC Gold Award winner. And these guys know a thing or two about whiskey, so I think it is just going to be perfect for this dish. A little flambe, just burning off the alcohol, concentrates the wonderful fruity flavours and the vanillin richness that you've got in this. As soon as the flames go out, we're going to add just a little bit of stock, a little bit of chicken stock into this pan, and allow that to carry on reducing down, to thicken the sauce and concentrate the flavours. Now you can see the sauce is reducing down, concentrating all those flavours. Um, so we're picking up the caramelisation from the, the beef. We've got the reduction of the whiskey with the flavour from the mushrooms. And I'm going to finish it off now with a little bit of double cream. So we're just going to add a tablespoon or two of double cream into the pan. Keep the temperature high, keep reducing it down until it gets to coating consistency so that when you dip the beef into it, the sauce adheres to the outside. 
just let that come down. So you can see the sauce is thickening all the time and I want to, so as I draw the spatula across the pan, it leaves a clear trail from one side to the other. That tells me I've just got to the right consistency for the sauce. And at that point, I turn off the gas and just let the pan cool down a bit. And you can see that lovely, rich, glossy sauce. And it's redolent of that heady scent that's come from the whiskey. And it's, it's the thing that brings this dish together. And I feel it's the way it unites fantastic Scottish beef with another iconic Scottish product, Scotch whiskey. The beef, although it's been sitting on a cold plate, is still nice and warm and it's time to plate this dish up. So that's the lovely rich whiskey and mushroom cream sauce. Of course, got the peppered medallions and beef. And I love the service with some new potatoes, some wilted spinach, and of course, a wee dram. In this case, the family reserve. And it somehow makes it altogether a richer, deeper experience. And you'll be surprised at the different angle it puts on this whole thing. Slice you far. And if you want any more information on the recipe or indeed anything else I've been talking about, go to the website grantswhiskey.com forward slash after hours.